So this is what Tanya's advent calendar looks like. I'm going to try and put it more on the screen just now so you can see. It has absolutely gorgeous packaging and there are 12 doors. So I opened the first one on the first day of December and the 12th one today. So for the packaging, I would definitely give this 10 out of 10. Like the colours are very Christmassy. There has a Christmas tree down here and loads of little Christmassy decorations all around it and snow. And this kind of door design reminds me of like the Prime Minister's house. I'm not sure if that was the look she was going for, but it's definitely really cool. And I did find that the doors, when you open them, sometimes they like caught on the side and nearly teared, which was a little bit troublesome. But other than that, I really do love the design. Once you try to take the products out, it was quite hard to get the products out of here. They were packed in very tightly. But that's a good thing as it shows that like she's designed it to make sure everything's secure. Day number one we had a red nail polish and it's a really really good size. It has 9ml in it and it's in the shade Festive Red and it really is very festive, perfect for Christmas. The only thing I would say about this that is a downfall is the paint chips quite easily so you probably want to put a couple of coats on. In day number two there was a lip gloss and this was in the shade cranberry melt and there's 5ml in here. Now this shade matches pretty well with the festive red nail polish that I just showed you and this colour is very nice on the lips. It gives a lovely red tone but with like a pink sheen underneath and it's definitely not sticky at all. Day number three I'm pretty sure it was a silver glitter liner and it's just in the shade silver and it's pretty nice. I would say you need to swatch it a few times before you're gonna get like the full coverage of it because obviously it is like a glitter eyeliner so there's going to be like watery parts and then glitter so the more strokes you do the more glitter you'll get. Behind day number four was a silver nail polish and this is such a gorgeous colour. You could apply this to like colours that you already have on particularly the festive red that I showed you before. It's not like a liquid silver it's like glitter silver and does it have a name? If it does, I can't read it because the back is quite hard to read. But yeah, I've already put this nail polish on top of this turquoise colour I had on before and I really do like it. In day number five, we had another lip gloss and this was in the shade Pink Fondant. And this is a lovely natural nude colour for like everyday use, particularly spring. And again, it's very like soft on the lips, very moist very moisturising and not sticky at all. So behind day number six was this gold glitter liner. I'm pretty sure it was that anyway. And again, it's the same as the silver one, only it's in gold. And you need to do a few strokes before like it'll apply like in a good consistency. But it's a lovely festive colour and it's quite a warm toned gold because I know you can get sort of more yellowy toned gold, but this is more copper, I would say. In day number seven, we had some white glitter and it's very fine, loose glitter and it's in the shade Let It Snow and it's definitely very festive. I've already tried it out and you definitely need something to like make it stick to your skin so maybe like Vaseline or a moisturiser or if you have like glitter glue then that would be good to apply. You can apply it along your cheekbones or like on your eyelids and it's a good amount in here. It's... I'm not sure actually but... <laughs> It's, it's a good colour. Behind door number eight was the Tanya Burr mirror. Now this mirror is, I think it's plastic probably, and obviously it has the mirror bit inside, and it's very, ooh that was my stomach, it's very small so you can carry it in like a purse or something like that, it's very compact, easy to use. Behind door number nine was another lip gloss and this is in the shade Ice Queen. Now something I love about this lip gloss is it's kind of like a clear lip gloss, but it has sparkles in it, and I think it's super cute. Definitely very wintry, and I think this would be perfect to put over, like, another shade, possibly, like, the berry shade that we had before. Behind day number 10, we have a nail file. Now, this is a very small nail file, and it has Tanya Burr written on it. I would say, to be honest, that this kind of nail file would only last, like, maybe two uses on both sides, because there are two sides to it, just because the quality of it feels like kind of one of those sort of cheaper ones you got in like maybe kids magazines so I wouldn't say this is going to last that long but again considering everything that's in the advent calendar I still think this is probably worth what it probably costs. Behind door number 11 we have a glitter pot in the shade Midnight Magic and this is quite a unique colour I think it's a khaki shade now I'm not entirely sure like if I would sit this and I'm not exactly sure where I would put it I'm guessing probably 
on my eyelids because it would not look that great as a highlighter but it's just a shade that I've never really worn on my eyes and I think it's definitely something I'm gonna have to experiment with and behind the last door day number 12 we have another nail polish in the shade glitter frosting this is a beautiful gold color and is a very warm tone gold I would say it's more coppery than it is yellow and I think it's quite a unique color and it's a really good size again this amount of nail polish and I'm definitely going to be trying this out because it looks amazing so that's my review of Tanya Burr's advent calendar I would definitely give it 9.5 stars out of 10 I think the price was just right at about 20 pounds on Superdrug anyway that's where I got it from again I really like the packaging as well big thumbs up Tanya I definitely think you did one of the best beauty advent calendars this year and very affordable too let me know what kind of beauty advent calendars you guys got for Christmas and what you would give them out of 10 thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up and come back here tomorrow as I have a new video coming your way bye